Hi, I'm Dr. M. Jokovic, Andrologist, practicing at Carlingham Hospital, Nagarkoy. So today I'm going to discuss about the Indian malleable Shaw implant and the imported malleable Zephyr ZSI-100 implant. So first, I'm, I want to tell you about the what is the Indian malleable Shaw implant, what are the advantages of it and what are the considerable disadvantages of this implant. So first, the Indian malleable implant is a relatively cheaper implant with wonderful stiffness. So this is the major advantage of the Indian malleable Shaw implant. It is a cheaper implant and the stiffness you get after the surgery is wonderful and it is far much superior compared to the other implants which is available in the market. So the second thing, what are the most feared complication of the penile implant is the infection and the erosion. So is there an increased chance of infection in the Indian Shaw implant? No. All the implants has the same rate of infection rate compared to certain implants which has an antibiotic coating so that the infection rate is little more lesser compared to these implants available in the market. So the Indian implant is equally a good implant compared with the infection rate. It is also very much less as the other implants are available in the market. So what is the disadvantage of the Indian malleable Shaw implant? This Indian malleable Shaw implant is a strong and stiff rod which does not has a bending or is a concealability path which is available in the competitors which is available in the <clears throat> other implants which are present in the market. The Indian malleable implant, it will be always erect and the, when you want to try to bend the implant, it will be little difficult without the help of an underwear. So if you are putting an underwear and if you are bending and keeping the implant, it will be easier in case of Indian malleable implant so that the concealability of the implant is little less compared to the other implants which are available in the market. But so many people love to have this Indian malleable implant because of its wonderful stiffness which it gives after the surgery. For the couples who have undergone this surgery, the female partner would have been wonderful, like the female partner will be very happy after the Indian implant because of the wonderful stiffness and the rigidity it gives during the sexual activity. So the next implant which we are going to compare with the Indian implant is the Zephyr implant which is the ZSI-100 implant. So first I want to show you the implant. So this is the Zephyr implant. It has two rods. This is one of the rod. And what are the things it's available in the implant is this is the distal part of the implant and this is the central portion which is the which can be bent. So you can see it has a silver wire inside the implant. And this implant, it can be bent and it will remember the position which we used to bend. It means if you bend the implant and keep, the implant will be placed in that position so that the concealability will be better compared to the Indian Shaw implant. And what else? The one more advantage of this implant, it has a, a hydrophilic coating, which means this implant can absorb the antibiotics once we put it into the antibiotic solution. So in case of a diabetic patient or a patient with compromised vascularity or a patient who has a lower immunity system, these implants are far better because the chance of infection is more in those patients which can be considerably reduced after this implant. So these are the two advantages of this implant compared to the Indian Shaw implant and what is the cost factor? This cost factor of the Zephyr implant will be almost double the cost of the Indian implant. But people would like to have this implant because it is it has a better concealability and a bit lower infection rate. So what are the common things between the Indian malleable implant and the Zephyr implant is both the implants or once it's placed, it will be have, you'll be able to have the sex, start the sexual activity after six weeks and uh, both the implants you can go in the airports or you can go through the 
security check which cannot be detected even though it has a silver wire inside it, it cannot be detected in the security check because of its silicon covering this will help to, to conceal the implant.